What's going on, everybody, and welcome on into the video. Today, we are doing an update on Mullen Automotive, ticker symbol M-U-L-N. Take a look at this extension today. Not as much volume as the day before. We traded roughly today about 439 million shares. However, some of the highs we actually saw trading up over 500 million shares uh, over the past couple of weeks. So Mullen right now is building higher lows. That's the biggest takeaway that you need to see from this video. If you are trading, holding, or whatever you're doing with this stock, this stock is building higher lows. So if you are trying to short this stock, which by the way, from just looking around on social media and just seeing, there's actually quite a lot of people looking to short this stock. And it kind of makes sense because these stocks have been getting annihilated small caps penny stocks right look at this move this stock had really just throughout the month of february from up here towards over three dollars and sixty cents per share down to 52 cents i mean wild moves to the downside and so no one wants to fight that move but right now we're really seeing with the overall stock market and even mullen by itself we're seeing some really good action off of some of these bottoms off of these lows Mullen actually, for example, here has gone now from that 52 cent low to the highs that it just had on Friday over 500%. And it doesn't seem like it may be done. Obviously, we'll have to see if things play out right now. The areas you want to see hold are right here, this $2.15 level. This zone is where you want to see it hold, not to mention the 50 SMA, this blue line coming in, is right here at around $2.25 per share. So we got some good support on Mullen down towards $2, and really from $2 to $2.25. That's a zone that Mullen will probably find some support on the way back down if it heads down there, at least in the near term. So again, look at these higher lows, $0.50, cents, make a higher low here at 75 higher low at 92 higher low here at 150 then around two and now it continues let's see how this plays out with these squeeze outs usually you get a nice one or two day extension followed by a one or two day pullback maybe three then if that if that low holds if that higher low ends up holding you get that next leg of the squeeze out so let's just take a look at some of the examples on the one hour chart again look at this move moen makes a move right here up into the 150 to 175 range look at this it's bouncing around for quite some time holding 150 as our support i'll draw that line right there boom 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 third time's a charm bounces around that 150 and goes then what happened here pushed on up came back down tested down to that 215 those highs that was actually on friday morning and then boom extension the upside hit 320 per share now one thing to also note mullen at one point on friday was down over 10 percent early on the day what does that mean? SSR is triggered. That will extend into Monday, which means you cannot short this stock into the bid, okay? You can short it. You just have to short it on an uptick, okay? That's the rule when a stock drops more than 10% in a given day, that day, and the next day, you have SSR, as we call it, that's on, okay? So that's enabled. So that's one thing to watch. 320 is our high. We have to break over that for more upside. Now, Bringing us out to the daily chart, the last area of significant resistance that we saw on Mullen was actually, if we zoom in right here, this is back in early uh, February, up around 375. 375 would be a really nice next target. Beyond that, we could be heading up to the lows that we saw, support levels we saw back here in late 2021. That's up here towards $5 per share. And then this range actually extends up here towards six. So these are our next targets to watch up here in terms of resistance. 375, obviously the 320 high from this past day. 375, beyond that, up towards five, and then even $6 per share. If we really get a true squeeze out and a full extension to the upside on MULN. If you want to learn more about technical analysis, doing your own sharding, you want to learn more about building out trading plans, all this good stuff, support resistance, we'll have a technical analysis course in the pinned comment and video description. We teamed up with Joseph Ho from Let's Talk Money. He came, brought some good fundamentals there. We really hone in on the technicals and give a great base in terms of what you need to know when it comes to charting stocks and really adding some more tools to your tool belt when it comes to your own trading and investing. Of course, it's always a resource. We'll have more videos for you here, like always on the channel for free and lots of other resources in the video description down below. Thanks so much for watching. Share the video with a friend and we'll see you guys in a future video. Peace.